So this is one of the theaters I work in. And in Hollywood, you find a lot of small theaters, 99 seats. This is even smaller. This is 44 seats. So if all the parents are here watching their kids in the final performance, you'll see 44 seats filled out there with their friends, their family watching the show. So I teach children's theater, but there's lots of things that happen here. Um, you can see the piano. We have voice lessons, acting lessons. There's art on the walls, art shows. There's also a film festival. It's a nonprofit. So kind of all kinds of things that you can do with theater and art in the community happen here. Well, it's a small nonprofit theater, so everyone does a little bit of everything. Uh, one of my main focuses is teaching children. We teach acting and kind of the basics of how to be on stage as a young child. Let me hear it. Good job. Good job. Could you please show me your karate master character? Let me see it. I love it. Very good, very good. How do we warm up? One of the ways that we warm up our bodies is doing the shake out. Let's start with our arm. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, 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 one. Very good. Good job. The kids are incredible. I mean, kids are funny. They do things that you're not expecting. They surprise you every time you're here. And almost every child in the program has no theater experience. So it's all new to them and you get to see them learning in that moment, you know, right as you're teaching every minute, it's something new for them. Because you're going to tighten up your toes and your feet and your legs and your arms and your fists and your face and the very top of your head is so tight you're going to explode. <laughs> oh, and then you relax. Good job, good job. All right, cool. Love it, love it. So I think I'm all set with teaching, okay? And if you want to ask any questions or anything, you can. You know, the weight hasn't been an issue, and I have no idea what kids are really thinking. You have no clue, but they are pretty vocal, you know, especially I've got a four-year-old, a five-year-old in the class, so they definitely say what's on their mind. You never know what to expect, uh, but so far it hasn't come up. And I even roll around on the stage, get on the floor with them. You know, if we're acting like animals, sometimes I'm acting like a dog or a cat on the stage. So uh, it's kind of no holds barred with creativity and everyone being able to say what they feel. I'm done teaching for the day. I'm heading out and uh, close up the theater. Sometimes I go to my other job, which is another theater, but today I'm headed to the bus. So um, it's a really, really long walk to the bus. It's very tiring to get to this bus stop. Whew, we're here. That, that was terrible. So yeah, I walk about five feet from my work to my bus stop. And then uh, I wait for the bus. And this bus takes about 10 minutes to get to the next stop. I guess, you know, I've made jokes my whole life, not necessarily all about weight loss. I mean, I don't think of myself as like, I'm that fat person who makes fat jokes. I don't point out how heavy I am. I mean, people know how heavy I am. I can't hide what I am. I think I'm very comfortable with myself. I'm very confident. So unlike some people that maybe struggled with weight loss and they felt like they had low self-esteem and it, you know, kept them up at night, I'm the opposite. <laughs> I should have kept up at night. I should have worried about it more, but I really haven't. Like, the person I feel like on the inside is how my brain sees myself on the outside. So I more need a reality check. Maybe I do need someone to point out how fat I am because I don't think of myself as a fat person. Today, when I like sat down on the bus on my way to work, I like can feel the fact that I'm touching someone. You know what I mean? Like, you're, I'm taking up the entire seat and there's no barrier between you, the, you and the other person. So if you're not skinny, your butt is touching their butt. So it's definitely an inconvenience. I mean, it's, it would be easier if you weighed less to fit in the seats on the bus. Here's the bus, so.
I mean, people definitely get discriminated against for being overweight, and you see comments people write online, bullying, um, whether people are children or adults, people are made fun of for being fat. I feel like I've somewhat avoided that in my life. I mean, with walking into a room confident and being in control of yourself and your personality, but there's always men who are gonna not date you because you're heavy. Or if you're in theater and acting, you're obviously not gonna get a job because you're heavy. I mean, the world is, um, there's less options for you. So, you know, I can't think of an instance where someone's really pointed out as an adult to me, hey, you're fat and you're disgusting. But it doesn't mean they're not thinking it and you can feel that tension in the air in certain situations. You know that it's there, you can, you can feel it. You know, it's, it's terrible when you see an obese child because you know that there's something that their parents or they can do about it. I mean, I'm generalizing, but I think 85, 90% of the time, there's choices they can make that will help their child not be obese. That wasn't the case for me. I was not a fat kid, and um, you know, my mother didn't really have to deal with that, my father, so um, I feel bad when I see a kid who's overweight because I know as an adult, Sometimes it hurts to be overweight, you know, um, to not be able to fit in the clothes you want or for people to not maybe hire you as an actor or, you know, at any kind of job judging you for your weight. And as a kid, you're so sensitive on top of all that, you know, it's just like something that they shouldn't have to deal with. Being overweight makes it so that I can't do everything in the time frame in which I want to do it, which is frustrating. So even though I might be confident and I feel great in my head, literally, physically, I'm not great. It takes longer to walk somewhere when you're heavy. It takes longer to get dressed in the morning. You know, if I don't plan out what I'm wearing the night before, which I often do, I'm frustrated in the morning because you try two or three things on and if you've gained five pounds or if you still have those clothes that you're dying to fit into that you don't fit into anymore, it's, it's frustrating to, um, you know, try things on, take them off and have to put on the same old stuff you wore, the same pants that you've been wearing, you know, or a couple pairs of pants for the week because those are the only ones that fit. We got married a year ago and we both want to have children. And it's not healthy to be overweight when you're trying to get pregnant. It makes it harder to get pregnant when you're overweight. And you can have complications in childbirth, in your pregnancy, like gestational diabetes, lots of other issues. So that right now is like the driving factor to me losing weight. My husband is, incredible and does not see weight and I mean that with all my heart you know he met me at the weight I am he does not care about that but we both want to live a long life together so in that sense of wanting to have kids and wanting to live a long life together we're both trying to get healthier he doesn't have to lose weight but we both have to get healthier to be around longer you know when I go out to eat to restaurants um, I'm conscious of what I'm ordering you know a lot of times I don't really see what people are seeing around me, so I don't really think, oh, I wonder what the person next to me is thinking about what I eat. But I'm more aware of it when I go to a restaurant by myself. So like, if I'm with my husband or other people and everyone's eating, you're kind of talking, you're in your own world and, you know, not paying attention to that. But when you're by yourself and you're ordering just one-on-one -on -one to the waiter, you can feel more if people are looking at you and judging what you eat. And especially in LA, <laughs> where everyone's ordering salads and eating vegan and really healthy, and I'm not always doing that. Back door. Barely escaped. <laughs>